What's good with y'all, man? Y'all back to Charlie being there, Charlie TV, and today we still on Surviving Tower the Park. I'm telling about all my legendary fights and stuff like that with the hands, you know what I mean? All my stories, man. This one, my man, this video I'm gonna talk about watch who you trust. You know what I mean? Me versus Kelsey. Now, let me begin to tell a story, man, about how it all started, man. I used to go to Lake Teller High School. I used to always like this girl. Somebody that was like my high school sweetheart. Somebody I loved very, very deeply. You know what I mean? Back in the days, man, I had a strong crush on her. I really, really, really desired to be with her and have a great relationship and have a family with her or whatever. Like I say, you gotta be careful who you trust. You know what I'm saying? Later on in life, you know what I mean? I was in merchant seaman school and all of that. And me and her end up leaking up after graduation, after school and all of that. And we ended up dating or whatever. <clears throat> and during the time we was dating, she had little issues with her baby daddy or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And um, they had cut, had cut all ties. And then me and her hooked up or whatever. And I was riding with her, you feel me? Uh, I was there for when she had her baby and all of that. Come going to the hospital with her. You know what I mean, supporting her and all that. Because I loved this individual. I had a lot of love for her. You know what I'm saying? And I respected her as a woman. <clears throat> but see, me loving her means absolutely nothing. And she didn't love me the same way. See, this is when the story get twisted and cricket. You feel what I'm saying? It get real quick, real cricket fast. You see what I'm saying? But long story short is, me and her was dating, and as we dating, she was cheating and messing with this guy from Old Lee Park. She was telling the guy from Old Lee Park that I was stalking her, some type of stalker and all of that. And when I would see pictures of her with him, she would tell me that this is one of her dead cousins and these are old pictures or whatever. So she lying to the both of us, playing us against each other or whatever. You feel what I'm saying? That's why I say you gotta be careful who you love and who you trust in this world, man. Cause people can be very, very, very wicked. You see what I'm saying? So he, she telling him that, so this building up anger in him, like I gotta protect my girl. Cause he not knowing that I'm messing with her at the same time he messing with. You feel what I'm saying? He not knowing what's really going on. You feel what I'm saying? So long story short is me and her, was having turmoil in the relationship and she was telling me that uh she just wanted a break or whatever the case may be and as i asked her question what was going on she would always say that she wasn't messing with nobody else or this and that i called my home girl up that's on her side of town Berkeley side and i found out that this guy's not dead and this is a real individual that's walking around, which I didn't have no idea because I didn't know this guy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? From Old Lee Park, I didn't know who he was. You feel me? So, I ended up uh, talking to her. She let me know. And then I confronted her about it. And then she told me a lie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then she said, if it is true, if I cheated, I just cheat. You feel me? So this is when it all started getting spinning out of control because she telling him lies and telling me lies. And then somebody ended up linking us on the phone where I ended up talking to the guy. And then when he was talking to me, he was on some aggressive type of tip because if somebody been lying to you for a long period of time, who you gonna believe? You gonna believe the person that you are sleeping with. You know what I'm saying? You gonna think this individual innocent. So he believe in everything she telling him and he coming at me on some crazy stuff. I'm like, bro, I, I had no idea what this was going on on that side of town. You know what I'm saying? If you messing with two different dudes from different on sides of town and I don't go on the Berkeley and Oatley Park side, so I don't really know what's going on like that. You feel me? So I don't know what's going on on that side of town. I got to call people and find out what's happening. Is this real? Is this fake? And I found out that she was making up all this stuff. It was all a lie. You feel what I'm saying? But long story short, we end up getting into an argument, me and her, or whatever. And then we end up coming back and we end up talking again. But me, us talking again was on some setup type stuff. 
both times and I didn't know it because during this period of time a lot of people in Tower the Park was getting on me and hit up or whatever so she told me to come meet her at the bus stop I walked past St. Mary's or whatever I walked past St. Mary's to go get it it's late night and then somebody just hop out on me or whatever I'm like oh shit I get out of there or whatever you know what I'm saying I get out of there so I'm thinking this is some random type of thing that's going on. I didn't even know that was the setup game. So I'm looking for her. She said she already did love. I'm like, huh? I didn't catch on at that moment that that was a setup because I thought it was just like some random stuff that was going on. That was the first setup. Next thing you know, <clears throat> the second setup. I'm walking, I'm walking through all uh, the Tower Park, coming through St. Mary's from Hope Street. You know what I'm saying? Walking towards the um. The McDonald's and Pat Pat tell me meet her at McDonald's. I go to McDonald's, nobody there. I go to Pat Pat's, nobody there. So I, I decided to just start walking up the street or whatever. As I'm walking up the street, all of a sudden I see these two dark shadows walking, running behind me. I'm thinking it's one of my cousins playing or some stuff. And that's the end. I turn around, I'm like, oh, it's the dudes from um, Oak Lee Park. I'm like, what the, f what the heck going on? Like, what you all this? You talking this and that? I'm like what? At this, at this particular time, I was supposed to be taking a route somewhere. I had a thousand dollars in my pocket, and I didn't want nobody to get the money. So I'm trying to go get away from all of this, and they throwing punches and stuff. And I'm trying to hold on to my pocket to keep the money in the pocket, and they throwing a bunch of punches. Like I think he got some of the money out of the out of my pocket because I kept trying to hold on to it while they was throwing all those punches or whatever. But like I say, man. You got to be careful who you trust in this world. Because everybody that's smiling in your face ain't for you. You know what I mean? And just because you love somebody don't mean they love you back the same way. She, she double-crossed me so many times. And then she laughed about it like it was nothing. You know what I'm saying? But I actually had love for this individual. I always respected her. I always was there for her. And I feel like she just betrayed me. You know what I mean? Sent me to the wolves. I never even knew these guys from Old Park. Never had a problem with nobody from there. And so I ended up messing with this individual from Berkeley, and I started having problems with people that I never even knew in my life. All over nothing, though. You know what I'm saying? A conversation could have happened, and we could have talked about it, and we could have fixed it. But to not have a conversation and to lie to me and to lie to that individual and then to start all this drama, you know what I'm saying? Never know what a person actually was thinking in their mental. You could have just worked it out, man. You know what I'm saying? Talked it out. But like I say, females these days don't give a care about nobody but themselves. And they're just selfish and evil. Like, I'm one of them. I'm a good guy, good church-going guy. So, I don't really be on all that type of tip. I be on some being loyal and stuff like that. That was have always been my character. So... Like I say, I was 100% in love, 100% for this person, but this person was just evil. You know what I'm saying? That's pure evil. You know what I'm saying? At that particular point in time. You know what I'm saying? Just crooked and evil. And everything she was... It's like its like me. It's like the popular girl messing with a guy don't know nobody know. And then she all of a sudden, they sleeping or doing something together. And then she be like, oh, no, I don't... Um, I ain't never mess with that individual. Everybody going to believe the girl. Even though something actually ha really happened. And that's the case. That's, this is what happened with this case. She turned my cousin is against me and all of that. He, They texting me saying some crazy stuff. Stuff I never even said. You know what I'm saying? So I always say, man, be careful who you trust in this world, man. Because everybody that you love don't really love you, man. And everybody that said they got you don't really got you. And I learned that from this situation that this girl put me through. And all the, uh, all the, all the evil st stuff she put me through. And all the inquiring things that happened to me. Because she couldn't be real. And she was cheating and messing around. Instead of telling us the truth. She did us both dirty. You know what I'm saying? But I got the bad end of the stick. You know what I'm saying? With all this setup stuff. You feel what I'm saying? So I could never respect it. You know what I'm saying? But that's my story. Love y'all, man. God first, family, and finances.